In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use this poultry accounting software step by step, exactly as you would use it on your own farm. This software is mainly designed for layer poultry farms, but it can also be used for other egg-laying birds, such as quails, ducks, turkeys, guinea fowls, and geese. If you want to see exactly how your farm is performing and manage your eggs, feed, and finances effortlessly, I'll provide a link at the end of this video where you can download a free copy and test it on your own farm. As you can see on the screen, when you first open the software, you may get a message saying, macros have been disabled. This is normal and very important. You must enable macros because the entire system is automated using macros. If you don't enable them, calculations, buttons, and reports will not work. Once macros are enabled, the system will ask for a password. The default password is 1234. You can change this later, but for now, we log in using the default password. After logging in, the first thing you see is the dashboard. The dashboard is the control center of the whole system. Everything you see here is designed to help you understand the state of your farm at a glance without opening many pages. You can see blocks showing farm details, income trends, expenses, profit, balances, and egg production trends. These are not just for display, they help you make decisions and also support auditing. At the top of the dashboard, you can select the period you want to analyze. If you select lifetime, the system will show data from the first day you started recording up to today. If you want a specific period, like a month or a custom date range, you select custom, choose the start date and end date using the date picker, save, and then click refresh system. Every time you change a filter, you must refresh the system so that all blocks update automatically based on the selected period. One important thing I want to point out is that this software has an inbuilt auto backup feature. That means your data is automatically backed up on your laptop. If anything happens to the software, your data is still safe. To find the backups, you go to your C drive and open the folder called Poultry Accounting Software Backups. That's where all backup files are stored. This feature alone saves you from data loss and gives you peace of mind. Now let's move to the admin panel because this is where you set up the system to match your farm. When you open the admin panel, the first section here is company information. This is where you enter your farm or company name, address, phone number, email, website if you have one, and your logo. Once you save this information, you'll notice it automatically appears on the dashboard and it will also appear on documents like payslips and statements later. This makes your records look professional and clearly branded. Next to company information is system and security settings. And this part is very important because it controls how the system calculates things. Here you set the financial year start. You also enter the starting capital. Below that, you enter the number of birds you have. Then there is eggs per tray, and this is extremely important. Different farms use different tray standards. Some trays carry 30 eggs, others 15. You must enter the correct number of eggs per tray used on your farm. Otherwise, production calculations and reports will be wrong. In the same section, you can change the system password if you want more security. There is also a clear all data button. When you first get the software, you may notice that it comes with sample data. Instead of deleting records one by one, you can use the clear all data button to remove everything at once. Just follow the prompts, save, exit, and then refresh the system. Once you do that, the software will be completely blank and ready for your own real data. If you need assistance at any point, you can message me directly on WhatsApp using the number displayed at the bottom of the software. There is also a detailed user manual included that you can refer to for step-by-step -step guidance on how to use all the features. After completing the setup, you navigate the system using the menu. First, select a category from the drop-down. Then choose the sub page from the second drop down and click open page. This is how you access production, sales, purchases, payroll, accounts, and reports. Now let's go to the production category because this is where everything about egg production and feed usage starts. From the menu, I select production, then egg production and open the page. This is where you record daily egg collection. Each day, you enter the date, the house or flock, the batch number, the total eggs collected, and the number of broken eggs. You'll notice that usable eggs are calculated automatically by the system. 
Recording egg production daily is very important because it helps you track performance per house, monitor losses from broken eggs, and see production trends over time. Once egg production is recorded, the system automatically updates egg inventory. When I open the egg inventory page and click refresh, you can see total eggs produced, total eggs sold, and the current stock remaining on the farm. You can also see the date and time the inventory was last updated. You don't enter any data here, you just refresh and review. Next is egg summary. This page is also fully automated. After refreshing, the system shows eggs collected in the last seven days, last 30 days, last 90 days, and total eggs produced since you started recording. It also shows the broken egg rate and usable egg rate in percentages, which helps you understand egg quality and handling efficiency. Now let's move to feed usage. This page is different because it is fully manual. Here, you record daily feed usage exactly as it happens on the farm. Everything you enter here must be correct because feed data affects many other parts of the system, especially feed efficiency reports. Feed is one of the biggest costs in poultry farming, so accurate feed records help you understand how well your birds are converting feed into eggs. If feed usage is entered wrongly, reports will also be misleading, so this part must be taken seriously. Now let's move to the sales category. From the menu, I select sales and then sales records. This is where you record every sale you make. You enter the relevant information based on the heading. You'll notice that the total amount column is calculated automatically by the system, so you don't need to type anything there. The balance column is also automated. For payment method, you only select either cash or bank. This is important because it helps the system track your cash and bank balances correctly. If a customer pays partially, the system automatically records the remaining balance. You don't need to look for the customer in a long list to clear the balance later. You simply click the clear balance button, select the invoice number from the drop-down, enter the amount the customer is paying, choose the payment method and apply the payment. The system updates everything automatically. If you want to see how a customer has been paying over time, you can use the view payment button. You just enter the invoice number and the system shows the full payment history for that sale. Next, let's look at customer balances. When I open the customer balances page and click refresh, the system automatically generates a list of all customers who owe money. You don't type anything here. This page helps you quickly know who needs to pay you and how much they owe, which is very important for cash flow and follow-up. Accurate sales records ensure your income reports cash balances and customer statements are always correct. Now let's go to the purchases category. From the menu I select purchases and then purchase records. This is where you record everything you buy for the farm, whether it is feed, medication, equipment, repairs or any other expense. You enter all the required details as shown on the screen. Just like in sales, the total amount and balance columns are calculated automatically so you don't type anything there. One very important thing here is the category column. You don't type the category manually. You click the cell and select the correct category from the drop-down list. This is important because the system uses these categories to prepare expense reports and income statements. If you choose the wrong category, your reports will not reflect the true cost of running the farm. If you buy items on credit or pay partially, the system records the balance automatically. To clear a supplier balance later, you click the clear balance button, select the supplier invoice from the drop-down, enter the payment amount, choose the payment method, and apply the payment. If you want to see how payments were made to a supplier, you can use the view payment button and enter the invoice number to see the payment history. There is also a supplier balances page. When you open it and click refresh, the system automatically shows a list of all suppliers you owe money. This helps you plan payments, avoid conflicts with suppliers, and keep your expenses under control. Now let's go to the payroll category. From the menu, I select payroll and open the payroll page. This is where you record how employees are paid. You enter the employee name, department, 
gross pay, any deductions if applicable, the payment method, remarks and other details as shown. The gross pay and net pay are calculated automatically by the system so you don't type it manually. You'll notice there are two date columns. The first date is the salary date, meaning the period the salary is meant for, for example the end of the month worked. The second date, near the end, is the actual payment date, which is the day you really paid the employee. This helps you track delayed or early payments and keeps your payroll records clean. Always select the correct payment method, either cash or bank, because this affects your cash and bank balances. In the remarks column, it's a good practice to write the month the salary is for. On the same payroll page, there is a print pay slip button. To generate a pay slip, you select the employee, choose the month and year, and click print pay slip. The system automatically generates a professional pay slip with your company name, address, and logo, and saves it as a PDF in the same folder where the software is stored. Now let's move to Salary Summary. This page is fully automated. When you click Refresh, the system generates the total net pay per month and also shows salary totals per department. You don't enter any data here. This page helps you quickly understand how much you are spending on staff and how payroll costs are distributed across departments. Now let's move to the Accounts category. From the menu, I select Accounts and open the Bank and Cash page. This page shows your total cash balance, total bank balance, and the combined balance. You don't enter any data here. You simply click Refresh and the system shows balances based on your sales, purchases, payroll, and other records. This gives you a clear picture of how much money you actually have. On this same page, you can also record bank transfers. If you move money from cash to bank or from bank to cash, you click Record Bank Transfers, enter the date, select where the money is coming from, select where it is going, enter the amount, add remarks if needed, and save. This keeps your cash and bank balances accurate. You can also record bank charges here. When the bank deducts charges, you click Record Bank Charges, enter the date, bank name, charge type from the drop-down, the amount, and save. If you want to audit or review these transactions, you can open the Transfers log or the Bank Charges log. These pages are for viewing only, you don't type anything there. Next is Accounts Receivable, also called AR. This page shows all customers who owe you money. You just click Refresh and the list updates automatically based on your sales records. You can also print a customer statement by entering the customer name and letting the system generate it for you. Then there is Accounts Payable, or AP. This page shows all suppliers you owe money. Just like AR, you refresh to see the updated list and you can print supplier statements when needed. There is also the Charts of Accounts page. This is mainly for accounting purposes and is not critical for daily farm operations. Now let's go to the reports category. This is where all the data you have been entering is turned into meaningful information. Reports help you understand whether your farm is making money, where the money is going, and how efficient your production is. Even if you are not an accountant, these reports are designed to be easy to understand. First is the income statement. This report is fully automated. It shows your total revenue, your total expenses, and your net profit. You don't enter anything here. The income statement updates automatically based on the filter you selected on the dashboard, whether it is lifetime or a custom period. This report helps you quickly know if your farm is operating at a profit or a loss, and which costs are affecting your business the most. Next is the balance sheet. This report shows the current financial position of your farm. It displays current assets like cash, bank balances, and money customers owe you. It also shows current liabilities, which is money you owe to suppliers. Then it shows equity, including your current period profit. One important thing to understand is that the balance sheet always shows the current situation of the farm. Dashboard filters do not affect it. This report helps you understand what you own versus what you owe at any given time. Next is the cash flow statement. This report focuses on actual cash movement. It shows how much cash you receive from customers, how much cash you paid to suppliers, and the net cash from operating activities. It also shows opening and closing cash and bank balances for the selected period based on the dashboard filter. This report is very important because a farm can be profitable on paper, 
but still struggle if cash is not flowing properly. The last report is the production summary. This report shows total eggs collected, total feed used, and feed efficiency, which tells you how many eggs are produced from one kilogram of feed. If you have more than one house, it also shows production and feed usage per house and eggs per kilogram of feed per house. This report updates based on the dashboard filter, so if you select lifetime, it shows data from the first record to the current date. This report helps you measure efficiency, control feed costs, and compare performance across houses or flocks. All these reports work together to give you a clear and complete picture of your farm, helping you make better decisions and run your poultry business more successfully. So that's how the poultry accounting software works from start to finish. If you want to really understand it, the best way is to try it yourself. You can download a free copy of the software using the link in the description and test it on your own farm data to see how it works in real life. Just keep in mind that this software works on laptops and desktop computers. It does not work on smartphones or tablets. If at any point you need help with setup, usage or data recovery, you can contact me, the developer, Glosser Tech directly on WhatsApp using the number shown on the bottom of the software and also in the description. If this video has helped you understand poultry record keeping better, make sure you like the video so more farmers can find it. Subscribe to the channel for more practical tutorials that help you run your farm better and check the end screen for more related videos you may find useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.